Erin, new season, new opening day interview. We've done this a lot over the years, but does this one feel a little bit different? Because in December, you were named the 16th captain of the New York Yankees. Anything changed for you heading into this season? I try not to think anything's different, but you know, there's a, a different feeling walking through the building and you know, you got some of the workers, you know, saying, hey, Cap, uh, other teammates, players saying the same thing. It's 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 an amazing honor, but you know, for me, I'm not gonna try to do anything different. You know, just keep trying to be who I am. You know, be a good teammate. You know, try to help lead this team to, to the ultimate goal of winning a championship. You know, I spoke to guys in that clubhouse all of last season, several years, and it seemed like it was almost a formality. They all considered you the captain already. What are the characteristics that you think make a good captain? You know, going back and looking at previous captains. Um, you know, specifically to the last one, Derek, he led by example on the field. Um, off the field, too, was a great example. You know, pushed and motivated his teammates, got the best out of everybody every single day. It's things like that that, you know, that's who you want leading the team. You know, somebody that you can depend on. There's a whole magnitude of things, but, you know, just being a good leader, being a good teammate. I know you have a ton to do before you get out there for opening day, so just run me through your morning on opening day. What's that like for you? Well, you know what? It's it's tough. It's, opening day for me is just like the first day of school. I'll get up pretty early in the morning, try to make my way to the stadium pretty early, and just kind of, you know, it's about, you know, I want to get into it. You know, I want to get into the stadium. I want to hear the crowd. I want to see the excitement. You know, for me, that kind of helps get the jitters out of the way. So you can kind of, you know, when they are announcing your name, when you're stepping up in the box for the first time, you hear the roar of the crowd, it's nothing new. It's just, it's just what we always do. So it's going to be a, a hectic morning, but it's going to be a fun morning, exciting time. Have you chosen this year's walk-up song? You know, I, I haven't. You know, that's, that's a good question. It's, it's been on my mind all off season. Do you stick with the same one? Do you change it up? You know, there's a lot of good music out there, a lot of new music out there, but, um, We'll keep, we'll keep that one a surprise. A lot of times they say you visualize things. They tell athletes to, to visualize what you want to accomplish. Have you visualized hoisting that World Series trophy above your head in a parade? Yeah, every day since uh, 2013. <laughs> it's uh, always at the top of my mind. Um, picturing what it's going to feel like, taste like, everything. It's, uh, it's exciting, but I, we got to take it one step at a time, one game at a time, and you know, that's how eventually you get get to the end of the road is by, you know, not skipping skipping past the good parts of grinding through April, grinding through the summertime, having those big wins, having those tough losses. It's it's about going through all that, enjoying it, learning from it, and then we'll get a chance to host that at the end.